Hi everyone, it's Holy here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of another damn toys figure. This is the damn toys Force Reconnaissance Platoon Desert Camo version. So you've already seen the Woodland Camo version. If you know what type of camo that is, leave that in the comments below. Uh, when I say Woodland, I don't mean Woodland Camouflage, I mean the Woodland uh, Camouflage. Anyway. Check this out, great figure. Again, this is one of those ones that's just awesome from top to bottom or tits to ass. So, very, very cool. Take a look at the box. Looks like a guy in a box, but they did a great, great job on this figure. Lots of cool gear. Super stoked to show you what is inside. So, let's go ahead and open this guy. Again, use this as a guide to help you build select figure or check out our Patreon or YouTube channel uh, for in-depth builds but you can see they totally jazzed this guy up and there's a couple different ways to build him so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside two trays always two trays would love to see like four trays but they'd probably be more expensive so let's go ahead and take out the figure first and then we'll do the rest of the unit so much stuff okay Fantastic releases. You could make a figure, still have some leftover gear, and make a third of another figure. And if you've never made a third of another figure, then you're missing out. So, always want to be careful when popping these trays off. They really did a good job unboxing this stuff. I wish they'd make their boxes a little bit smaller, just because postage is so damn expensive right now. But you get the idea. So, Figure comes out, head comes off. Don't worry, it's not broken. You can see it's got a receptacle. This is called a head receptacle. <laughs> and this is a neck wiener. And the neck wiener goes on the head yeah. receptacle. It goes, <laughs> it goes in the head receptacle. All right, so looks like an actor. If you know which actor that looks like, leave that in the comments below. But a fantastic figure. One thing you'll notice right out of the gate is he's got some black hands. Okay? They're black. They're not painted. Don't worry. Gloves go on top of those hands. So, very, very cool. These are great, actually, loose parts buys because they're easy to put uh, the cloth gloves on. The fingers are very skinny and there is wire built in on the inside. So you can actually shape them if you wanted to do little shooting thing or whatever but they are not skin tone so just be aware of that and again these pegs are compatible with any manufacturer's gloved hands they're just simply a nipple on the end of them and you can pop on a new gloved hand if you want to so fantastic uniform love it love this intercut fabric right here functioning everything fantastic boots we've seen some of these made by soldier story a while ago maybe some other marine releases but great, great starting figure. And again, this would make a great starting figure for a lot of different cool figures. Really nice belt. It's a rigger's belt. He does have a padded tummy right here. So he's got some under breeches. Uh, they're not armored under breeches, but they are under breeches. And they do actually beef up the waist. So very, very cool. But great belt, metal buckle. Does have some hook and loop, just like the real thing. But fantastic starter piece right here. Next, we have a dump pouch. That is not for taking a dump, but that is for dumping pieces of gear. And these are foldable, so these can actually go onto a belt. You can see you just loop that through the belt right there, okay? And then you can roll these just like the real thing so they stay out of the way until you need them. You can see it's got hook and loop on the back here, and you take this little strap, strappy strap, throw that on there, and now it's rolled up and it fits nice and tight on your belt, just like the real thing. So, very, very cool piece of kit. We do have a brown neck toque. I love neck toques. I buy a lot of neck toques uh, privately, just because I use them on a lot of figures, because I don't like lines or seams to show, um, especially when I'm photographing stuff. So, always a good thing to buy, and buy whatever color you can find, because they're hard to find. Lots of helmet Velcro, and some nice patches but lots of stuff inside that bag. I'm not gonna unwrap it. Fantastic plate carrier, okay? Really, really nice. This is obviously for M4 magazines or 5.56 magazines. You could probably use it if you wanted to on a Russian for an AK magazine setup because um, it does have these bungees on top, but 
Very, 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 very nice plate carrier. Just like the real thing, really nice Molly belt. You got a low profile backpack on the back that you can actually take off uh, if you wanted to. And then it does have another flat pack underneath that. So very, very, very cool piece of kit. And again, whenever I build stuff like this, I put you know some change in here, maybe like a quarter or 50 cent piece, and that will weight that down properly. So it looks nice when it hangs on the figure. Padded shoulder straps, but fantastic, fantastic piece of kit right here. Really, really cool. Do get some helmet padding. Let's take a look at the helmet while we're pulling everything out. And that right there looks like a Mitch helmet with the arc rail system. Really, really nice set of NVG mounts right there. You do have the little bungee hooks up there. Nice bucket inside. Chin strap. But really, really nice. Like this color. And again, this is easy to dress up if you want to throw over a, a piece of cheesecloth and just do an overspray. You can get that into like a camo snake look, which would be super, super dope. So very, very nice helmet. We get a really nice comm system. I love the color. This is a little bit darker than a coyote, but very, very cool helmet and mic set. So this does have a wire, so that can be shaped. And then you can actually pull these down. Uh, these are little wires right here, and it just moves up and down like that. So if you need to put it on a different figure, you can. But really nice mic set. That will go with the headgear. And then we do get, these are, these are special tweezers. These are called Wife's eyebrow tweezers <laughs> because we're not at the office so i don't have my own tweezers here so to get a really nice helmet light okay that does move on a wire right there and that will slip right into that rail system right here and you literally just slide it push it right in and these are a softer plastic so they're not hard and you can just slide that right in there like that so, very easy to do Next on this side, we do get a really nice NVG kit. Love the NVG stuff. Thinking we need to come up with a different acronym for NVG. NVG stands for Night Vision Googles. Uh, you want to make something funny out of it, then, then leave that in the comments below. Really nice piece of detail here is the covers. So it actually comes with the lens covers. So check that out. And they do move, obviously. But easy to put on that NVG mount as well. And these do come with little bands on them. Uh, they're designed to break so that you can actually cover that stuff. So um, let's keep going. We do have a battery pack right here, which is really, really nice. That'll go on the back of the helmet, hook on with hook and loop. And then we do have this guy. And this right here helps you connect the communication system. Anything else in here? Really nice glasses. So. Some little Oakleys with clear lenses. Super cool, great way to dress up any figure. Really like this. And then we do get a holster, and we'll show you this guy in just a second. All right, so here is the rest of the party. Let's go ahead and pop this stuff off. Be very careful when you're opening this. Don't hurt yourself or anyone you care about because stuff will tend to fly out. So I'm just creeping my hand up there. All right. Bam, look at that. So much stuff, right? So let's go ahead and start here because it's at the bottom. So these are the gloves. These are mechanics gloves, obviously. And really, really cool. Again, you could put regular hands on this. You can buy them from any manufacturer. They'll just pop on the pegs. But you can put these gloves on these hands right here or any type of bendy hands if you want to. The other cool thing that I love to do with these is I love to just take a carabiner and put this on a vest or belt and then you can see these little loops right here and I'll just hang them to look like a hanging pair of gloves. So very very cool piece of kit. They are cloth and they do have hook and loop right here just like the real thing. Easy to put on. Again, I've done some videos on this stuff. If you check out our Patreon, you'll see it there. And you get another carabiner. Now, let's keep going here. So we got the vest, and we got a whole bunch of pouches and belts and straps and web stuff. Check that belt out. 
Super, super cool. Got Molly all over it. Really nice fabric. This is the first time I've seen a belt like this, I believe. But very, very nice gun belt. Very, very cool. You get a really nice two-point sling. You get a safety lanyard. Again, it's on a bungee. And we do get a plethora of pouches, okay? So, again, M4 magazines, you can use these for various purposes. Radio pouches, grenade pouches. These are all in Coyote Tan. Super, super cool. This right here is your radio pouch. You can see it's got the button placed right there. So, very, very cool. And it's got the bungee sling on top. This right here is for an air crew breathing device, okay? And that is this guy right here. This little O2 tank. It's got your mouth regulator on there. And that goes with that pouch right there. So very, very cool. And again, we get a really nice radio. Great whip antenna. You can see it's all folded up there. That, that will bend across the body as well. So that is on a spring. Just like the real thing. Call that a whip antenna. This right here is your standard radio. Very, very nice. Now, lots of other stuff. This is a trick question. If you know what these are, leave that in the comments below. If you don't, then guess what they are. And no, they're not for holding sandwiches, even though they look like they put, like fit a perfect little submarine, like half submarine sandwich, like six inches right there inside there so i will give you a hint they go on a belt okay really nice dual pistol mag pouch molly on the back so i love these pouches very very cool really nice pickup and then we do have two different holsters okay this right here is going to go on that belt just slide right in there and then that'll sit on the leg and this goes around the leg obviously but you do have two different types of holsters here. And they are for two different types of weapons. So very, very cool. You got one in multicam. This one right here, you can tell is holds a tack light. Okay, and you can see because you got the little round spacer right there. This one does not hold a tack light. Okay. Moving right along, we get this guy. This is a great, great, great repelling harness. Again, great buy. Fantastic, stitching's good, and it's not overly thick, and it's got a metal buckle, uh, but fantastic rig. This would be great on any, any figure that you put it on. Just really adds an extra set of detail, but really nice stitching. They did it in gray stitching, but really, really nice. Love picking these up. More. This guy right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I believe that's for holding the antenna, but I could be wrong. It could be for holding a tourniquet. Uh, but if you know what that's for, leave that in the comments below. If you don't, then take a guess. We do get a tourniquet, and you can see it does have a red sticker on the back. These right here will fall off over time, so if you want to put some extra, extra love and attention on that, be careful with it. It does say time, and it does have the tourniquet stick here. But just like the real thing, again, if you cut your finger, always good to have one of these on hand. All right. We do get some grenades. Again, these are very nice, just standard grenades. We do get this guy. And if you know what this is called, leave that in the comments below. You can see it's obviously, looks like a giant smartphone, uh, but it's got a map on there. And that would go in the chest rig and connect to the communication system. So very, very nice piece of kit. I love these things. Again, just really dresses up and makes up the figure. Moving up, we do have some more stuff. So this is another pouch. This right here could be used for a pistol magazine, could be used for a multi-tool, plethora of stuff. And then we have this little guy. And this right here is an antenna location kit, I believe. Or, yeah, that's for an antenna, I believe. But that would molly into the chest rig and that would hold your antenna. So, pretty sure that's what that is. Got a couple little parts here. This right here goes with this. 
And again, follow me on Patreon. You can learn how to build one of these from ground up. Do I have some handcuffs? Love these because they give a pop of color. And then you can use, again, a carabiner, throw those on. And those can dangle from the vest. Um, you can actually pull this rubber band off here and you can actually molly that. So you can molly it into the vest so it shows a pop of color. But I love dressing figures up with stuff like that. We do have a really nice, a really, really nice EOTech. And this has, love the color first off. Second off, it's got the, the covers. So really, really digging the covers. Great, great, great optic. <laughs> super, super stoked about that. We do have some more radio antenna stuff here. And then we do have Of medical shooters these are great again put them on an ifac dress up the figure throw them in the vest they don't actually cut stuff but they do move so really good detail we do have a baseball grenade we do have a helmet strobe Let's see what that is that's a like a sharpie pen that right there you use to write on the tourniquet the time that you applied the tourniquet this guy right here if you know what that is Leave that in the comments below, because I don't know what that is. Oh. And then we get up into the weapon stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So as you can see, we get a blue gun, and blue is training. So this would have sim munition rounds. So you could set this guy up to carry training stuff or carry live fire stuff. So this is a blue little G pistol. Magazine does come out. Slide does move. Uh, great little piece of kit and again you could paint that and that would look just like a real thing so you can always dress this up if you can find these say cheaper than a regular pistol you can always do your own paint job and make it look cool then we get a 1911 this is super super sexy love the grip love the finish love the rail everything about this is just really top-notch Slide does move, it's very easy to move. There's no real rub. So, very, very cool. Really nice magazines. Really, really like these. And you do have the safety lanyard because safety is always, always a priority. And if you drop, say, your pistol, then it's attached to your belt or your person, and then you can find it. So, very, very nice pistol. And you can see that this pistol right here would go in this holster. Just like that. And then this, you can see just like we've seen on past ones, that right there would just slide right in. And if you were in training mode, you would literally just slide this off your holster and then swap it for this one. And this right here comes with the attack light right here. This will just slide on the bottom of your rail, just like that. And that fits in with everything. You can also use this holster for other pistols, say a real looking one of these that's not say a training pistol uh, that would hold the tack light or an RMR on top as well. So. Very, very nice holster. Love the, uh, the multi-cam there. Let's just see. And I believe this tack, tack light will also... I think it's a little bit too... too small for the 1911. But 1911s do take tack lights as well. So very, very nice piece of kit. Do you get plenty of AR magazines? Like a lot. So plenty to fill the pouches. And you do get some munition magazines. And the cool thing about the AR platform here, first off, I love this front rail, okay? Love that secondary rail up there on front. That's really, really nice. And this whole thing will actually come off and then you can swap it with the training barrel. And you know it's training barrel because it's blue, okay? When you put this on, then you'd use the simunition. 
shot magazines, and then you have a training rifle. So you can set the figure up two different ways, or you can set it up just like this. Now, it may seem a little bit wonky right here. This is fixable, okay? So it's not broken. This just requires some twisting and turning, and then it'll go back in a straight line. But very, very nice rifle setup. Love the stock, love the grip. It is spring-loaded, bolt does move, but yeah, don't worry if it comes out wonky, that just means you gotta do a tiny, tiny bit of work to get it right, so. Very, very cool. You do get a really nice watch up here, and then you get a really nice suppressor. This guy right here does have a secondary piece, and I've gone over this in videos before, but this piece right here does come out just like the real thing, okay? So you don't want to jam this on. You want to pull this top piece out, slide it on, and then put the top piece back in. And that actually holds it around the barrel right here. You see that little groove? That's where that goes over, so it actually holds it in place. You do get a really nice magnifier. So much gear. <laughs> Love that. That'll go in conjunction with this. Flip the side, you can use it or lose it, or you don't have to use it, but very, very nice optic set. Really nice rifle. And then you do get a really nice forward grip. And you can put that on like that, facing forward, which is how I typically run my stuff, or you can put it on like that if you want to do it like that. So very, very cool, it just slides on to any rail. Then you do get a PEQ. So lots of 30 round magazines, either some ammunition or regular ammunition. You do get some training magazines for the G pistol up here. You need to get lots of 1911 magazines here. So fantastic figure. Again, so much stuff. Um, you could do, do a lot of cool stuff with a lot of these pieces. So if you like videos like this and you want to see more of them and more unboxings of force reconnaissance platoon Marines, um, please make sure that you drop us a like, hit that subscribe button, and share this out to your friends so everybody can see how cool this stuff is. And yeah, stay tuned for more exciting content like this guy.